Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks, and you may notice that we're in a different location than normal. Uh, I'm in my in my bathroom because the reason I'm in here is that uh, this video is dedicated to a number of viewers. I, I, over the last few days I've had quite a few viewers expressing interest in the old boggy face makeup. For Halloween, they're, 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 they're writing to me asking, you know, can I do a tutorial because they're interested in looking like old boggy in a few weeks when Halloween comes around. So here we go. I'm going to do a tutorial for those. And uh, it's amazing how many people actually like the look of old, uh, old boggy. They want to get into the Halloween thing. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'll, I'll do a tutorial. Basically, the two colors, as you've seen, are black and white and... You can buy these little tubs of white paint and black paint and different colored paint. Any toy shop, especially around Halloween. And basically we're going to start with the white because the white is going to go around the eyes and the mouth. Okay, so we will put that around. Being careful not to get it in your eyes. Like most... Um, cosmetic type things you, you're gonna have to avoid the eyes but get it around there a nice thick you don't have to be you don't be stingy with the paint and it feels very oily but it, this stuff will wash off with soap there we go so we've gone around the eyes around the mouth it helps it it probably help if you shave which i haven't today but it doesn't matter there you go because well, i mean you can use any bit of this bit of sponge came with the paint but if you don't have this you can use a little bit of uh, a tea towel or something along those lines bit of old bathroom sponge there you go so you've got the around the eyes around the around the mouth this will uh, show definition to the design now what you do is you flip the sponge over so that you've got the white on this part we're gonna put the black on this part and then basically do the same thing now what I find is very with a th with a thin line with a corner of the sponge do an outline don't uh, don't go straight in and do the thing because the you, you want to keep everything within within the uh, within the shape of the mask if you start from the inside outwards the sh the shape will just go all over the place i find so um do an outline like, like you see there, a ring, and then just fill in the, fill in the gaps. There you go. I'm running out of paint on this particular tub, but luckily, I've got uh, I've got another one. And there are there are lots of shops, you know, because you can go in buy Halloween paint. Uh, is you know the, the the picture on the front shows Frankenstein, fr shows Dracula, all this kind of thing. But uh, depending on, uh, I mean, in this case, you only want two colours, you know. But uh, but yeah, I'm glad to do a tutorial for those who want because the, the the amount of interest has been pretty pretty good. You know, people are saying you know that they like the look, and when Halloween comes around. They, uh, they, they, they want to do something different, you know, plus it's very, very simple as well. It's not like you've got white and black and then gray and then red for the blood and uh, green for the witchy skin, you know, uh, it look, it, they actually look quite complicated. I mean, not impossible, but you know, what, what, why make things difficult, you know, it's just, uh, I've got a little bit around the, uh, out of there. There you go. And uh, when it comes up to the nose, just gently don't get it up the nose. 
just uh, on the out uh, on the edges here. Here you go, and then yeah, that actually that's actually looking. There's a few little areas. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you just take a few moments. You can fill in the little gaps here. And uh, yeah, it'll make it make it look that little bit extra special. And of course, this is, um, for, for those who don't know, uh, I've mentioned on the previous videos, this is Halloween paint based on the, the character Old Boggy, which you will find on the Jeeves and Worcester TV show on YouTube. Season 2, Episode 5, and also the League of Gentlemen. There was an evil clown, I can't remember his name, but if you type in League of Gentlemen, clown, there's an evil clown in there, he's the one who's always going, are you Dave? You know, asking for Dave every place he goes. Uh, it's a similar design to, to him as well. So um, either one of those two, you can get uh, get some idea about what to what to do. Yeah. Very good. And there you go. So look at that. It's uh, six and a half minutes. And that's all it takes. So if you uh, you and the family want to do something special for uh, or something different for, for Halloween, then uh, this is the way to go. You know, it's a nice, fun character. Very easy to do. It's uh, slightly different than what most people will be doing, you know, because I mean, a lot of people, you know, if you just, it doesn't take a lot of effort to, uh, to do this. Yeah, there you go. And that's how you look like old Boggy comes out once a year to haunt the, haunt the town's folks. <laughs> and, uh, there you go. So I hope that was useful. It's, that's how you do it. White, then fill in the black on the outside and uh, not much else. Okay, so hope that was useful and thank you to everybody. <coughs> thank you to everybody who was writing in asking for the tutorial and showing their support in this regard. And thank you very much for watching.